Well, we arrange our guests, of course, uh, for uh, Friday afternoon, which is really great. Uh, when we did this one, I was a little bit uh, worried because I knew that uh, uh, originally Ben was coming in and he was going to come in the past as a dentist, and I hate the dentist anyway. And of course, this is a little shop of horrors we're going to be talking about. I was a little bit weary and worried about this. But anyway, uh, he has dressed in the fart, which is great. Uh, but also, we've got here this afternoon, which is absolutely fantastic. We've got Steve Hume here this afternoon, who is actually the main character also in The Little Shovel Eyes, he's actually seen more in it. So, uh, a very good afternoon, first of all, to you both. Hello, hello, good afternoon. Right, how are you doing then? All right. Great. You managed to find yeah, Ben, you've been here before. Uh, Steve, we haven't seen you before, but uh, both from the London players today. Um, First of all, Ben, we'll just go to you very first. This is your first, actually, uh, for the Linden Blazers, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I've been involved in lots of different drama groups. As you know, I've been to speak about quite a few of them. But, uh, yeah, this is my first time with Linden Players. I love Little Shop of Horrors, and they've made me feel extremely welcome, and I, I really, really love it there, actually. Really enjoy it. It's a great show, a great team, a great cast, and really enjoying it. Mm, that's good, that's good. Um, and I'll say a bonus today, we've got Steve here, Steve Hume, who actually plays the main character in it. Uh, Steve, you've been with the Linden Players much longer. Yeah, I've been with them since 2010. Uh, I got dragged into it by an external neighbour who knew I would love to get on stage, but uh, never quite made that step. And uh, it's stuck ever since. I've, I haven't been able to break out. I'm not done trying to. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, the, the big thing for this is um, I've always done sort of medium sized parts. And um, suddenly at the auditions, I found myself auditioning for the main part. And here I am. I, I don't right. know what's happened. This is your biggest part yet, really. Absolutely, yeah. So, um, <coughs> Linda Players, of course, they're based in. They're based in Milton Cheney. Right. Um, They've been established for a number of years now. I think it was like the mid seventies they were formed originally. Uh, it's actually formed from the the Women's Institute in the right, area. Right. So obviously, uh, the the, the not, not just uh, female cast members, there are male mm -hmm. cast members as well. So uh, yeah, they've, they've got quite heritage in the area. So yeah, this is the latest uh, show in a long line of uh, good successes. Yeah. Ben, obviously, yeah. uh, you're part of dentist uh, in it, which uh, is quite a big part as well. Um, I mean, how long have you, well, we'll come back to, to Steve in a minute, but Ben, how long have you had to be rehearsing for this to, to get it ready for, for next week, isn't it? We've been rehearsing since, when have we been rehearsing since? Was it March, uh, was that February? Late January. Late January, yeah, oh, yeah, pardon me, it's yeah. gone really quick. Yeah, so, yeah, we started then, because it was midway through what I was doing, Cinderella, which I came right, to speak to about. Yeah, um, yeah. So I was, I was busy around that time. But yeah, we've been rehearsing for quite a, quite a while, um, but it's a big show and it, it needs that. And we put a, a lot of effort and work into it. Um, all the um, fantastic songs, fantastic music, so catchy. We wanted to get them perfect, get the staging perfect, get the choreography perfect. And it's, uh, it's, I think it's going to pay off. It's paid off, it seems to pay off. Who was involved um, in this production, really? Uh, I'd say about... Uh, 20, 25 sort of people? Yeah, the sort of core cast is around six and then we have a sort of a lot of chorus spreading beyond that. So uh, Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's a um, big cast and then obviously lots of people helping backstage. Lisa, who's our director, uh, Chris, who's our MD, all working hard on it to make it the best show it could possibly be. Like other organisations we have in, uh, such as the Bamboo Cross Players and that, everybody seems to, to go around and say some, some direct things before having a part. And, and as you just said, uh, Steve, this is mm. your biggest probably role in, a, in one so far. Yeah. So, um, I mean, have you, have, you got, have you been sort of doing other jobs as well involved with the other production since, obviously, five years now you've been... Uh, with, with the Linden or... Yeah, yeah with the, the Linden. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've, I've always been with Linden. Um, and, yeah, I've, I've definitely, I've, I've had, uh, what I've been, I've been in, my first one was Great Expectations, and then that was followed by Hello, Hello, I was hair flicking that. Oh, right. That, that was one of the most fun roles, probably the closest to this show as it were in terms of comedic value and, mm. and what have you. Uh, I've been in a number of pantos, uh, Calendar Girls had a few small parts in there. Um, yeah, bits and, lots, and, lots of bits and pieces, pieces really. So. Uh, ben, tell us a little bit about those little shop of horrors. For those who, you know, don't well, know the, sure. just a, a brief... Well, um, a lot of people might know it from the film, which was quite popular and successful. Uh, it follows Seymour, who Steve plays. Um, and he's a bit down on his luck, he's not really got much luck with the girls. This is Seymour, not Steve. Um, not got much <laughs> luck with the girls, <laughs> not got much luck in life generally. Um, he, when all of a sudden he makes the acquaintance of, a, um, it's like a flytrap plant. 
um, which he realises over time needs blood to survive. It'll only feed on blood. And as it gets bigger and bigger, it requires more blood. And one night it talks to him and tells him it wants him to kill somebody. It, it tempts him to um, kill somebody to, and feed it to him. Uh, and the person who he targets first is myself, my character, the dentist, right. who's, a bit, who's abusive towards uh, Seymour's crush, which is Audrey, who he works with. Um, so he targets the dentist first, not willingly, he doesn't want to do it, but he, he feels like he must to keep the success that he's been given. But it's a, it's a fantastic show, and it's um, with some fantastic characters, and very fun characters, very exciting characters, um, and a great storyline. Yeah, I mean, the, the, thing, the thing about the plan, the real thing about the plan, why, why he goes along with the plan is because uh, because this, this forest which he works in isn't, isn't doing very well at all. Um, the plant actually brings some originality, some, something unusual to the place, and customers start flocking in suddenly, so you know, there's a lot of success around that, so there's a bit of a draw there as well, so uh, all done to a fantastic soundtrack. <laughs> and, the <dentist laughs> gets involved, then. and the dentist gets involved, yeah. Den dentist is dating Seymour's crush, which is Audrey, and he's very abusive towards her. He um, knocks her about a bit, he's very rude towards her. And um, Seymour, who's obviously a very sweet guy, can't stand to see her treated like that. So he decides that, you know, the world would probably be better without him. Mm. So he, uh, yeah, so the, the dentist is his first victim, mm. really. Um, the dentist is quite a nasty character, but also a very fun part to play. Quite a funny yeah, character. Yeah. <laughs> um, very strange. <laughs> it keeps, keeps it interesting every night. I don't never know what's going to happen to me. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes, I... Uh, I uh, I have used Seymour a bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we'll talk a bit more about that in a bit and where it is and how much it's going to be and all that. And let's have another bit of music though, just to uh, uh, let's sort of try and cheer ourselves up. <laughs> <laughs> this one from Farrow Williams, this is happy for you right now. Yes, indeed, and with me this afternoon in the studio, we've got Steve Hume who plays Seymour and Ben Coleman who plays a dentist in the Little Shop of Horrors, which is uh, coming close to us next week. And we'll tell you about that in just a moment. So yeah, you're both here. So far, so good. No problems. Despite the fact Ben is in the uh, the dentist's uh, outfit. <laughs> yes. And, and I did notice so you stick it out of the top pocket. So yes. And that's, not, and that's not a pen, is it? <laughs> no, it's my instruments of torture that I carry around with me. <laughs> I'm, just glad, I'm glad you brought Stephen this afternoon. I hope you are. <laughs> I'm a teeth done, yeah. We'll get out of this now. But uh, nice to have you both in here this afternoon. Let's uh, talk a little bit about the uh, whereabouts it is then. I mean, all Indian Fair productions are normally out at Middleton Cheney, aren't they? That's right, it's in the Village Hall, uh, and although that Village Hall sort of makes it feel really small and quaint, <laughs> it's, they actually do it really well. I, I, one of the, actually, the first production I saw there was. Uh, uh, a long time ago was uh, Forbidden Planet, and I thought Village Hall, yeah, that'd be nice. We got in there, they transformed the the whole hall into a spaceship, basically, which was fantastic. Yeah. So because like all these other yeah. productions, you have to get all the staging in, don't you? you have to get it all approved beforehand, or or is this a bit more? You've made you know, some of the stuff up yourself for this. Uh, well, we, this is it's quite a set wise and, and mm. staging wise, it's quite a tough one actually, because obviously we've got to have. The plant, which is a, a big yeah. deal, and I, I think our plant's been made for us, hasn't it? And it's yeah, all four, all four sizes. Yeah. We have to, obviously have to see it grow over the course of the show, and it's been made for us. I mean, it's a, it, it, what we've seen so far is fantastic, and obviously it's got to be able to, big enough to eat a person. And obviously, as well as that, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So we'll be good. Yes, four, four, pe away. four people. <laughs> won't tell you who. Um, but yes, um, so as well as that, obviously we've got to include the shop of, and Skid Row, which it's all set on, and I mean, we, we started work on the set last weekend, and if you compare it to how it was when it was just an empty stage, it's just fantastic, it's really come, come alive, and we've got another set build this weekend, and it's going to look absolutely fantastic, I think, visually, it's going to be really stunning, and it really, it just adds to the whole performance, it adds to everything it makes, even when we were rehearsing this week, it just brings out something a bit extra, hmm. which is... Um, it's great, isn't it? It's absolutely fantastic. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So rehearsals are over, and it's on its way, and it's coming next week. Tell us a little bit now about the uh, about the uh, when it's on and prices and all that. Really. Yeah, certainly. So it's uh, so next week that'll be Thursday the fifth of June, Friday the sixth of June, and Saturday the seventh of June. Uh, that's all at seven thirty p.m. So and three three nights at seven thirty, and an extra Saturday. And we also have a matinee. At at 2 p.m. 
uh, on the Saturday. On the Saturday yeah. as well. So. How about the prices then for this? Uh, the prices we've got, it's um, £10 for adults and uh, £9 for concessions, but uh, concessions only are on um, the Thursday performance, aren't they? On the Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Those are, um, but uh, they're £10 and they're from, you can get them from the box office at 07849 032739 or at the Linden Players website, um, which is www.linden-players.co.uk. <laughs> It's always an awkward one, that one, isn't it? It is. Or, or you can get it from uh, lindenplayers.ticketsource.co.uk. Yeah. There's, there's a link on the Linden site to go to the tickets as well. So. Yeah. yeah. So okay. just, just, just that phone number again, it's 07849 We'll put some more details up on that on Facebook a little bit later on there. Uh, you know, uh, and, and so people can see where to get the tickets from. Um, so how long is it roughly? I mean, how long is the actual the show? Yeah. The show itself, um, with an interval, it's probably a couple yeah. of hours long. Yeah. The um, the, uh, the first half is longer than the second half, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's it's there's so much jam packed into those two hours. I mean, you're definitely getting your money's worth. <laughs> yeah. Two scene changes in theory, is it then? You've got your scene one obviously in your first half, and then do some scene changes for the second half. Or do scene changes happen? Slightly as it Stage evolves, yeah. yeah. So, you know, it evolves uh, mainly around the plant and what's happening with that. In the uh, shop. The interest it? it's drawing in. So, um, yeah, definitely. Um, Ben's he's obviously a, a high ranking um, member of the cast. He has his own little <laughs> stage on the side. <laughs> 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 not dressing room. Not dressing room. I'm not that important. But we have a, no, the, uh, we have a whole uh, dentist uh, office, dentist um, yeah. patient room um, on the side of the stage with. Operating dental chair, haven't we? Which more tools, <laughs> more with more tools, yes, yeah, and more violent, vicious tools, um, and yeah, and we've got the the shop and and skid row, and the majority takes place sort of in that area, and we sort of jump between sort of the different sections of the stage, so it's um, quite snappy, quite quick transitions really, which is always good, I think. Mm, absolutely, but, yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, now we've got a bit of a clip coming up from uh, something from uh, another production, but to just give a, a little indication of what it's all about. So, do you want to sort of tell everybody what all this is? Uh, about? Yeah, this is this is the opening number and the prologue to the show. Um, the prologue introduces um, sort of introduces the show, and then we go into the song that the in our, in our show the three Renettes and the rest of the cast um, sing to sort of introduce the show, and it's named after the title of the show which is Little Shop of Horrors. Okay, well what we'll do then, we'll have a listen to that and then afterwards we'll just remind everybody of uh, tickets and all that again. So here we go right now. We have the Little Shop of Horrors and uh, yeah. It's yeah, it's a fun song that one. It's uh, sung by our chorus and our three brunettes who are fantastic, our three brunettes aren't they? They're, um, um, but yeah, it's a nice fun opening to the show really and the songs are uh, all the songs are just as fun and exciting yeah. as the as the last, really, aren't they? They're re really catchy songs that you go away sort of humming along in your head, really, don't you? Yeah, I've lost a few nights uh, humming myself to sleep there. I'm trying to help mm. myself. To sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so yeah. it's all good. So let's just have a reminder now when it's all happening again, then just so we give patients and listeners online a chance to uh, get tickets if they want. Yeah, so it's between Thursday the 5th and Saturday the 7th of June. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so that's next week. Uh, 7.30 p.m. and there's also a matinee on the Saturday at 2 p.m. Uh, tickets add up to £10, concessions on the Thursday evening on the matinee at £9. And if you hurry up, you may still be able to get some good seats for most of those shoes that shows maybe, yeah. actually, yeah. yeah do uh, they're moving I mean, I know a lot of these things are quite sad. Yeah, no, 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 the time it gets to the they're going, going very well, actually. Um, past few weeks they've been going really well, quite fast. Um, still, good, still seats for every night though, so um, but yeah. uh, we're expecting them to go because a lot of people like buying on the door or they buy, um, yeah. they buy last minute. Which uh, some people you could still get on the door if they're if, if, the seat if, if, we available, yeah. Yeah. if we have tickets available. Yeah, if we have tickets available, still we'll, we'll, I'm sure they'll be on the door to yeah. buy. But we recommend we buying beforehand. beforehand. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, if you're coming from Banbury, it's quite a distance to go, only to be disappointed, isn't mm. it? So yeah. yeah. Phone number as well, wasn't there a phone number? Yeah, there's a phone number 07849 062739. 07849 Just thinking actually the Friday night's probably a good one to be going for at the moment. There's still some pretty good seats going there for that one. It's, mm. It is filling up, but it's, uh, 
Yeah. Once again, the website again to go through to if need be. Yeah, that's the uh, website is www.linden. That's L Y N D E N L Y N D E N hyphen players .co .uk. Yeah. So. Just a just a thought though, and a lot of people have been asking me whether it's appropriate for children, and oh, it, it, it 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 really yeah. is. It's it's got a man eating plant, granted, but it it's, it takes a bit of a B movie feel to it. It's not actually yeah. scary, scary. It's not yeah. terrifying. I know it's called Little Shop of Horrors, but it's yeah. not a horror. It's it's more a comedy yeah. than anything. And yeah. and unless you've got children that are maybe a little bit <laughs> sensitive, yeah. get a little bit scared. Um, but it, it's it's pro and I think I think kids will love it. It's a man eating plant my, <laughs> from outer space. I mean, who, what's not to love? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, my my seven year old's going. I was hesitating for a little while, but actually, it, it's fine. It's a really colourful, fun show, and uh, yeah, it's great. I feel much more comfortable now you said that because it sounds <laughs> to me as though it's the plant that's. A <laughs> It's quick. It's not a horror show. <laughs> the plants <laughs> causes the problem as, as much as, as the. Oh, the plant. The plants. The plants. The the. Uh, yeah, he's, yeah, he's <laughs> pulling the strings. <laughs> he's pulling the strings, exactly. Okay, so okay, that's that's good to know. That's good to know. Well, as always, it's a pleasure having you uh, both in this afternoon. Thank you very uh, much. Uh, and, uh, we wish you all the very, very best with that. I'm sure we well, may see you again, Steve. I'm sure we should see you again, Ben. Yeah. Have you got anything else sort of planned yourself after this one with the Linden players? Is this being your first one with it? Um, I'm I'm sure I'm trying to stick around with some of Linden players shows. Definitely, I've really enjoyed it. Um, I'm working at the moment on Yobbo's next production, which is 13, which we're doing in the summer, which I'm sure I'll, I'll come and have a chat with you about with Robbie, our, our co-director. Um, it's because Robbie was with you on, not the last one, but the one before. Yeah, when we came to speak about our last Yobbo show. He seems to be doing a lot of stuff, you know, just see so bits go up on Facebook. Yeah, he's yeah, he's, busy. he's busy, he's just as busy as me, really, and yeah, we're, we're working on doing uh, 13 with Yobbo's, which we auditioned and cast the other month, and we've got about 50 young cast members which is fantastic and then um, as we said before that's, that's really great with the operatic to have the young mm. ones as well isn't it I mean, absolutely yeah. especially yeah. with that sort yeah. of thing you know I, yeah. feel, I, think, I think that's fantastic yeah that like, youngsters are getting involved with things like that it, it's great as, as they you know youngsters yeah. get involved with, any, with even Linden Pairs yeah something. with, with Little Shop of Horrors we've got a, gr a great range of ages involved haven't we which oh, yeah. is nice it's a lovely it's lovely to see young people performing I think for a while it sort of died down the amount of young people that wanted to be on stage, I'm not sure why, but then recently, especially in Banbury and Middle mm. Concini in this area, it's really picked up and that's fantastic because we need obviously all the younger people to be able to continue mm. these mm. Yeah. societies and these uh, performance groups really and I mean they're fantastic some of these young performers, aren't they? They're oh, absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, yeah we, had a, we had a few coming to uh, Linden last year when we did Our, our House, which is based on the Madness we did last We've always got a great mix of ages, I mean, I'm myself I didn't take it up until I was in my <laughs> mid-thirties, and uh, so, uh, you know, but I, I, I'm feeling about 20 at the moment, so... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Well, well, all the best for that again. Uh, that's the Linden Players, Little Shop of Horrors, taking place at Little Tuesday, next Thursday, the 5th to the 7th of June, 7.30, Saturday matinee at 2 as well. Check out the website. Once again, the website again is... It's complicated. It's <laughs> www.lynden.com hyphen players dot uk www linden players linden hyphen players dot co dot uk there you go well, well done thank you to you Steve and thanks to you Ben thank you very much for popping in and uh, it looks as though it's gone all right without too many problems we're going to take a few pictures to put on Facebook a bit later so you can just see uh, that it did. well Ben's <laughs> going to do my teeth at the moment so. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely right then uh, let's have some more music then it's a minute past four o'clock you listen to I'll get through here to a five.